So welcome back to the channel. Unfortunately, this is the beginning, a little snippet of the Sweat Hog intro. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to make it with the P1G. We had everything painted and ready, but unfortunately this axle shaft snapped yesterday right as we are getting ready to test this thing down the street. Austin overnighted a new axle, which you can see right here. And here is our issue. So something is major bent and did not go back exactly the way it was supposed to right there. So unfortunate a turn of events. The P1G is sitting just like this. So we'll get it ready for next year. We got a whole year to make it ready, but we had everything good. Austin repainted it last night. We had all the stickers, and that's all she wrote. Austin, I'm sorry to say that. Kevin, y'all did an excellent job on it, but how does that make you feel? We waited too long. Yeah, I guess so. Had the stickers and everything, so, but we're going to send it with the zero, so y'all enjoy the video. We'll see y'all at Five Flags. Oh well, put it on there. Where are we at, Kevin? Five Flags, man. Five Flags Speedway, it's race day. Awesome. All right, guys, we have no time to spare. We have made it, and here is the reveal of the Zero car. It is now the hog. Everything is set up and ready to go. We have a great field of cars here today. But y'all, look at this. The 12 car bails us out again. So unfortunately, they saw in the beginning the pig didn't make it. So we grabbed Wyatt's car and we're going to send it, right? Yep. All right, so Austin and Dad got everything going. Austin's putting some racing for the Lord on here. Dad's stressing probably, right? I don't know why I tighten the bottom right at it hurts up. Uh-oh. That's the kind of stuff that always gets us, huh? But all right, well, Dad's going over it once real good. I'm going to be piloting the 12 car. Austin's going to be in the hog. And so uh, all we can do is send it. We changed the tires for the 8, put it on the 12 so that we didn't have these little skinnies. Kevin and them are set up. We got two GoPros on me. I've got my new visor cam, which is going to be really cool. And then I got one in the front. And then Austin will have one front and back. Not sure how it's going to look with a flag. We didn't think about that. <laughs> It's a wide angle. It should it's be fine. It's a wide angle. We'll see. But start in like 22nd and 24th. So we'll see what happens. Hoping for a great day. 90 minutes of enduro. Hopefully it goes well. So buckle down. Here we Racing go. Has a, Racing has an E. What do you think? Yeah. Old duct tape. Joe uh, went and did the fried bologna too. It's yes, a little sir. bit different than that fried bologna, isn't it? Uh, yeah, asphalt nuts will be a little bit different. Oh uh, yeah, what's your predictions? What's your hopes? Uh, to try to load it on the trailer and drive it on the trailer and not put it on a trailer with a record. There you go, that's a good one. So this, this is our buddy here. He's gonna take it to the front, my prediction. I'm gonna hang out and take it to the front. All right, buddy. All right, here we go. Start of the race, they done a few little face claps. Uh, pretty deep in the field. Or we're used to being deep in the field like this. Uh, a 12 car, guys, don't have your brakes. We don't know about the hog yet. But here we go. We're here in the 
to see what's going on with him.
an hour. 12 did good. There's zero. I started the race with zero brakes. Like I had just a little bit if I would pump it like three or four times. And I kept having a downshift and right there about 10, 10 laps before I came off, zero brakes and I cannot stop. So I was just slamming people in the right side. And then right there at the very end, I saw the temperature go up to about three quarters. And I was like, temperature and no brakes, I'm not risking it. So I pulled off. Austin is in seventh place though. And the guy in sixth place just came in the pit, so he needs to go. Let's come watch him. the key. Go FFR. Those right there are Target brand. We support We support the Target. <laughs> That's a nice booty on that hog. <laughs> uh, how did you like the race? Who cares what that they say? It was a long time. <laughs> Standing out there in the sun. Did you get sunburned? I think I, that was the first time I was out in the sun. The Maybe whole year. Grayson liked the race. So that does it. Race is over. I came in at an hour. Austin came in <laughs> at an hour and 30. Which <laughs> he finished the race. Check her flag. But I came in, actually, I came in 12th. At, or no, <coughs> sorry. I came in 15th place. Woohoo! So, um, 15th place, I, I turned a 37.8. Austin came in ninth and turned a 35.6. So, the Ooh. hog did good. The 12 did okay. I'm not going to say it did good. The hog didn't do good. But here is what actually happened Austin actually lost the key. I got. I got. He got spun I out. Got hit so hard by people thinking you could win. <laughs> I mean, A Flim's gonna announce this will probably be his last endurance race for a little bit because half these people probably just got a car yesterday. <laughs> so, well, the good thing is that I got the hit. next enduro race is next. I mean, year. I got hit, pile drive, and drawn through, and shifted into the drive. Yeah, and the key came out, and which put it in limp mode. Limp mode. I couldn't go over 3,500 RPMs. I had a really good car. But he still did good. I'm proud of him. Finished the race this time. Had a good car. Probably could have got second or third, but we were still moving all right in turns, but they were blasting by us straight away. So. We just, I feel like if I would have brought the 13, I would have been okay. I just don't want to risk that car over here on one of these races. I mean, 
Wyatt's, no offense to you, Wyatt, if you're watching, I know you are, but it was already damaged all up real bad, so I didn't really care about messing it up because we got to fix it anyway. But uh, overall, it's good. Dad's out there walking the track to see if we can find a key. I doubt we are, but real quick, I'm going to go get an interview with the winner because Ricky Johnson, one of our hometown guys who lives about 20 minutes from last one last almost hit Ricky. Yeah. Yeah. Over so let's go time. talk with him real quick, get There's a word with him, the and then we're going to go try to find this key, and then we'll wrap it All up. All right, guys, here we are with Ricky Johnson, one of our hometown guys from Van Cleve in the 84 RSX Type S. How did it feel? Because you drove, that was, to me, your smoothest race, because I was watching you. Normally, you know, from the past that I've seen, you go wide open at the beginning, but there at the beginning, I saw you kind of take it easy a little bit, which was different. But tell me what your strategy was there at the beginning compared to the end, because you had a smooth car. What would you do different this time? Well, I just watched the attitude of the race in the beginning, and I seen it was uh, pretty rough going there in the beginning. So there's a time to uh, make moves, and there's a time to uh, let attrition take its place and right. take a back seat and just put things on cruise control for a little while. Uh, if you just seen cars that were in a cluster that were beating and banging and everything and there was a car that was faster behind me I would just move out of the way let them go and let him be the ping pong ball in between them right. for the most part And but you had a mirror didn't you? I did. Which you I can did. run here which is awesome. I, next time I'm gonna have one goes so all of a sudden I hear feel somebody just slam in the back. Well this is what your fourth race? Fourth win? It is. It fourth, is. He won the first three and then this one so Anyway, congratulations. I love seeing an RSX win. I, I wanted to bring mine, my good one, but I just can't beat it up. If you I, see I your right if you see his right door on it. But right. anyway, congratulations, Thank dude. you, bud. Appreciate right, it. Y'all be care good. For going home. Well guys, that is a wrap for the 2023 Enduro racing season. Yes. <laughs> that was the last Enduro. Thank you guys for checking out the video. We hope you guys enjoyed this little Enduro racing series. Old Wade Flim says he's over the Enduros. <laughs> he's ready for some dirt track round, roundy round, loopy loop. So you guys take care. If you like what you see, please hit the like button and the subscribe button, follow along. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, if y'all find the accurate key on this track, y'all let us know. But anyway, thank y'all so much. We're headed back to Mississippi. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah.